Hello everybody and welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. I'm here today to share with you this fabulous card that we are making in our January Stamp of the Month Club. So the Stamp of the Month this month is the On the Horizon stamp set which can be found in the brand new January to June mini catalog. I love this stamp set and all the versatility that it entails. So we're going to create this really awesome card. This is just one of three that my club members are receiving their kit. If you want to find out more details, uh, pop on over to my blog, createwithbirdsnest.ca. And if you click on online classes, you can see all of the information there. Um, again, it's the Stamp of the Month Club. So in order to create this card, we're going to need just a few supplies. We're going to need a block. Um, I've used the D block, so um, that I like the size of it just because of the way it worked out, um, <clears throat> but you can use whichever one you want. Uh, we're going to need a pool party ink pad, the stays on jet black, and materials for some heat embossing in white. Okay, so inside the kit, if, you've, if you're a club member and you're watching this video to make your card, then inside your kit you've got all the pieces you'll need. Um, if you're not and you want to make this card along, I'll give you the measurements. So we've got a pool party card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half, and it's scored in half at four and a quarter. We've got a basic white piece for the inside of the card, which is four by five and a quarter. We've got a piece of basic black, three and three eighths by four and five eighths, and another little strip, three and a half by one half so just a half inch strip and then lastly we have a piece of the shimmery white paper that measures three and a quarter by four and a half and all of these supplies are available through stampin up on my online store again you can find that through my blog at createwithbirdsnest.ca so to start with we are going to just need the shimmery white cardstock okay and what we're going to do is we're going to create this gorgeous watercolor background simply using our block, ink, and a spritzer. So you will also need a spritzer of some sort with some water in it. So this is just happens to be a Stampin' Up! one, but you can use any kind of water um, spritzer that you have. Okay, so this is really quite easy. So we're going to open our pool party ink pad. <clears throat> and we're going to take our block and we're going to just lay our block right directly on the ink itself. Okay, and give it a little bit of pressure just so you can see that ink getting on there. Okay, and I'll pull it off and you'll see that it's got this nice bubbly ink all over it, which is lovely. And you can do it just like that, but for an extra little um, effect, we're going to spray some water on it. Okay, you don't need a ton, just enough. Okay, and then you just let it, you can see that it's working its magic there. Okay. Now we're going to just turn this over, stamp it on our cardstock. And you can see right in front of our eyes how it's making this gorgeous background. I'll lift that off. Okay. And it's going to be different every time, obviously, because you're never going to get it exactly the same. And I've just got this bit of water pooling here, so I'm just going to kind of hold my paper and let that pool down. You can also use a tissue or something and just dab it or use your heat tool if you've got a heat tool um, for embossing which is what I'm going to just quickly give it a little bit of a dry here. So it's moving that water around a little bit and that's okay. You just kind of want to get it to dry in. And the reason the shimmery white paper is perfect for this is it absorbs a lot of that water. So you could also use um, watercolor paper, and of course you can use regular paper as well, regular basic white cardstock. Um, it just might take a little bit longer to dry and give you a little bit of different effect. But isn't that fun? I love how that turned out. So we're going to set that aside to dry a little bit longer. <clears throat> and in the meantime, we're going to create our label here. So again, I've got the three and a half by half inch strip of basic black. And I'm going to use my embossing buddy. Now, hopefully you have one of these in your stash. If you do, you're going to just give that a swipe. It just takes the static off of the paper so that your embossing powder won't stick to it. 
And then I'm using my Versamark ink pad and the thanks for everything greeting from the On The Horizon stamp set. I'm just going to ink that up and again Versamark is clear, most of you already know that, but it's a clear sticky ink <clears throat> and it helps to emboss. Now you can use it for other things aside from embossing just to create a clear image, um, which is lovely as well. And then I'm going to take my embossing tray and some white embossing powder. Sprinkle that on there. Okay, so there we have, you can see that there. Let's put this over. Okay, now we're gonna use our heat tool again and we're going to emboss that white powder. <clears throat> And you can see it turning, as you can see it melting, it turns to that nice bold white. So it really doesn't take very long at all to do that. I'm done with the pool party, so I'm just gonna put that out of the way here. We're done with the Versamark. Okay, so once we have that, you can either snip the the banner here manually with um, scissors or if you've got the banners pick a punch it works amazing for these little banners and you can see it's got two different edges we're going to use the flagged edge I'm just going to stick this in here okay and look how cute that is okay so now let's bring in our other pieces and we're going to assemble the card. Before we do some stamping, I just really want to make sure that that first step that we did is nice and dry. So we've got our pool party card. We folded it in half on the score line. We've used our bone folder to give it a nice crisp fold. Now we'll take our insert because we don't need to do anything on there. Of course, if you if you wanted to, you could stamp some images in there. Okay, so we'll just center that nicely. Perfect, just like that. Okay. Now this is going to get attached onto the front of the card using some Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to put one in each corner. and one in the center. Okay, so just five dimensionals on there. And we can go ahead and stick this right in the center of the card. Perfect, just like that. Okay, so now we're ready for the next step. So I'll set that aside. Here's the card again that we're creating. So we're going to use this beautiful background we had, and you can, it's up to you. We can um, leave it this way, or we can turn it around and do it this way. Um, <clears throat> looking at this, I think it would look really pretty on this particular one if it was, this was on the bottom, because it would highlight this foliage. However, I've left too much space here, so in my mind, it does need to go this way. <laughs> So we're gonna go with that. Okay, so we're gonna use our stays on ink. And we're gonna take this gorgeous image here from the On the Horizon stamp set. We'll get this nice and inky. I don't know if that's a word or not, but in my craft room it's a word. We're gonna get this nice and inky. <laughs> okay, let's do that. So you can turn it over and make sure the ink is getting on. And then we're just going to eyeball this and stamp this image so that it's overlapping. Okay, and I just want to hold it there for a few extra seconds to make sure that ink is transferring. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? I just love that. Okay, so then we're going to use these gorgeous bird images as well. These are so versatile, and I've used these so many times already. Um, on different cards. 
we'll just take these guys and we'll just stamp them up here. Again, holding just a few extra seconds for the ink to transfer. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so simple. Now you may be noticing on this card here that there are some water spots. That was just because I had a little bit extra water and when I tipped my stamp over to make this, it did do a little bit of splashing, but it totally works. It's good. Um, it's kind of got that watercolor look. So, Okay, so let's attach that onto the front of our card now. Just using some stamp and seal. It's going to have a nice thin border. About roughly an eighth of an inch all the way around okay so lastly what we need to do is just attach our sentiment across the center and to do that I'm once again going to use some Stampin dimensionals if you've stamped with me before or watched any of my videos you know I love dimension on my cards so I go through a lot of Stampin dimensionals all right so we can just go ahead and put this on. Now I just want to make sure that the, the flagged end is not going to go beyond the card. We want it to fit nicely in the envelope still. I'm just going to lay that around so it's nice and straight. And there we go. There is our card um, using that wonderful technique and the beautiful On the Horizon stamp set. Once again, this is a Stamp of the Month Club card. So if you're interested in learning more about that club, anyone in Canada can join. Um, I can absolutely ship the kits to you. So you can check that out at createwithbirdsnest.ca under online classes. Again, my name is Denise Cox and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canada and I am so happy that you joined me today to watch along for this tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Happy stamping!